Good morning, everybody. My bike is still uh, in the hotel. They've got it stored for me. I just want to take a second to go explore this town that we're in. Just walk around. I'm curious if this actually works. Oh shit, it does work. That's cool. Yeah, I wish my playground had something like that. So I had a thought about our camping situation. Yesterday we learned that wild camping is illegal in Austria and they can fine you up to 500 euros. But I'm pretty sure wild camping specifically refers to like public areas. I think that you still can camp on private land as long as you have like permission from the owner. Obviously I'm not gonna get permission from the owner, but I think that that means that if I camped on this farm field, the only thing that they could do was like cite me for trespassing and have me removed. I don't think they could find me if I'm on private property. Let's go get the bike and get out of here before the sun comes out. I found a little EV charger. I'm curious if it has ports I can know. That's a different type of port. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Drive to Vienna. London. I'm for, I'm, he just came from Vienna. I'm trying to cross the EU. Looking at this, we are close to the German border. So we're almost out of Austria. I think that we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday where we just plow through the battery, try to get this done in like two hours so we can charge to the hottest part of the day. Looks like we're crossing the river again, except this is a much more industrial bridge. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is a dam. I'm pretty sure they're making like hydroelectric power from this. I don't understand why we need to keep crossing back and forth over the river. Oh shit, there's a McDonald's right there. The batteries aren't dead, but I don't think I can say no to McDonald's. I just need to figure out how to cross this street. Okay, we got it. This is a weird looking McDonald's. It's only 9.30, we've already traveled 20 miles. We are getting into a big city, so I'm definitely locking things up now. The city that we are on the outskirts of, I believe it's called Linz, and I think it's the third largest city in Austria. So I ordered hot chocolate, and I'm pretty sure they just gave me hot water and cocoa mix. I paid like $3 for this. Oh, no. I'm confused. Why is there bubbles on that? Is this just hot water that's like steamed? Or maybe steamed milk? Okay, okay, I'm, I feel better about that. Am I supposed to use the whole bag? It feels like a lot. I want to point out, um, as we go further into, I guess, Western Europe, I'm noticing the internet is getting much, much worse. Like, I can't even watch this video in 240p. In 240p, it's still buffering. And this is not just this McDonald's, like the place we stayed at last night, like a lot of the places we're going to have really bad Wi-Fi. I've been having to use my cell data to upload these videos. But we got full batteries and we got breakfast, so still a good day, I guess. No, it's interesting, you'll see this in America too. America is supposed to be this like linchpin of technological advancement, but if you go to most places in America, you'll find that the internet speeds are super slow. See, back in the day, uh, America used to be on the bleeding edge of technology. Back in like the 1970s and 1980s, you had companies like Cisco and they were setting up networks all over the country. This is like early internet stuff. This is like dial up, this is like copper coaxial cables. They spent billions and billions of dollars to set up networks all over the country. And that was the best technology they had at the time. Now, at the time, countries like Serbia, Macedonia, Ukraine, they couldn't afford this kind of stuff, so they didn't build it. They did not build the same kind of networks that Germany, France, and America did. But then, of course, technology advanced, and you got things like fiber optics. America just spent billions of dollars to put copper wires in the ground. They don't want to spend billions more to be able to put, basically, glass in the ground. 
so they just stuck with the copper wires. But by the time countries like Ukraine and Serbia and Macedonia were ready to build their internet infrastructure, they didn't have that problem. They could just go right to the latest, greatest fiber optic stuff, and that's why you'll find that the poorer countries, they end up having these super fast internets, and the more expensive countries, they're still on these super old dated copper wires because the companies, they don't want to spend billions more dollars just to put up existing infrastructure. I am currently unlocking my bike. I'm at a McDonald's and I didn't want my bike to get stolen. Oh, am I recording? Shit, I am. Uh, hi, this is Ruslana, we're calling. The sun is being an absolute jackass. Holy shit, it's hot. Ugh. At this intersection, make a U-turn onto street. Not having to edit and post the video fucked up my schedule because now we're riding in the midday heat. I should probably stop and get some supplies. I finished off all the apricots yesterday. I'm seeing a lot of people on the paths riding e-bikes, but a lot more of them are riding traditional bikes like this. And these bikes are insane because they cost thousands of dollars and they can't do half the shit that my bike can do. What is Coca-Cola light? If I had to guess, I would probably say it's the same as Diet Coke in America versus Coke Zero. Coke Zero tastes way better than Diet Coke. Diet Coke is honestly kind of nasty. It's funny, you guys will watch me go out of my way to get sugar-free drinks, but then when it comes to candy, I'll just be like, yep, I'll take all of that. I do have some limitations though. I will only eat candy if it's like really sour, and this stuff absolutely is. You know, food is getting a lot more expensive as we head west. I think I should look into getting a camping stove. Do you know how cool it would be able to have like warm soup when we pitch the tent at night? Or like ramen noodles or camping stove. We gotta remember that. You know, I haven't had a cherry Coke in a minute. I've seen them every now and again, but they're always the type of sugar in them. Mm. Okay. In 350 feet of the intersection, take a left onto I just need to show you guys this. He is skiing with rollerblades. I've literally never seen that before in my life. right you've got to be fucking kidding me it wants me to cross the river again but this time it actually wants me to pay for it. why does it want me to keep crossing the fucking river like why can't we just stay on one side of the river well while we wait for the boat to come back to this side i see a little water spigot right here The boat is back. I'm absolutely certain these people want to be paid. I'm not gonna be able to like accidentally sneak on again. Okay, the boat's here. Let's go see how much it costs. I guess we're gonna pay it regardless, but let's see how much it costs to go on a boat with a bike. It's four euros. So it's like $5 to be able to cross this fucking river again. God damn it. Okay, $5. Oh shit, we're on the other side. We were moving so slowly, I didn't even notice. Okay, hopefully that's the last time we need to cross the river because I will be pissed if it makes me pay money just to get back to that original side. Check it out, we have another asphalt skater. I'll take the opportunity to pump up my tires while we've got a gauge here. The better inflated the tires are, the longer the range we'll have. So they're currently like 20 PSI. We'll have a rougher ride and we'll wear the tires down faster, but we'll get much longer range. We could stick to the river, but my app says that it's got a better way that cuts off a bit of time for us, so I'll trust it. It's much better here in the West than it was in Ukraine. In Ukraine, it was rolling the dice if it would lead me into a fucking landmine. Here, it's a lot better.
Yeah, in this part of Europe, the app is great. Just a sec, I'm gonna take a break here in the shade. <laughs> I think that we need to go on the fast road now. Yeah, we don't have a bike lane anymore. There's a really heavy truck up ahead. So even though the street is 100 kilometers per hour, everybody else is going the same speed I am. Haha. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be trying to overtake people. Like I can. We are on one bar. I'm gonna see if I can charge over there. Gasthof Schlugen. What kind of food do you think a Gasthof Schlugen would sell? They do not have outlets. This is what we get for trying to stop at a Gasthof Schlugen. I'm sure we'll find something. Okay, the batteries are flashing. We gotta charge real quick. I'm gonna see if we can find a place to charge in that little town over there. Here we go, restaurant and cafe. I'm looking, but I don't see any outlets. Okay, I found one outlet, so I guess we'll sit right here. Wait a minute. Yeah, the outlet doesn't even work. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Yeah, never mind. They're closing in like 20 minutes. Thank you anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> hey. He says that we can sit out here. They're closing the inside, but we can sit out here and charge our stuff. So we are good. I ordered a cappuccino. This outlet doesn't work either. God damn it. He brings the coffee. I'm like, hey, so do you have an outlet that works? He's like, nope, you paid for the coffee. You drink the coffee. So I'm just not going to drink the coffee. He charged me five euros for it. I'm not going to drink it out of fucking protest. Oh my God. I literally went up to him. I'm like, hey, so can I get a menu? I just need to charge my stuff. He's like, no, we're closing in 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I saw the outlet outside. I'm like, oh, hey, can I charge my stuff out there? He's like, yeah, yeah, do you want anything to drink? I'm like, yeah, can I get a cappuccino while I charge my stuff? Gives me the cappuccino, charges me for it. I'm like, hey, the outlet doesn't work. He's like, yeah, sorry, that sucks. I'm like, oh, can you get me an outlet that works? He's like, no. Fucking people, I swear to God. I didn't even need to pay for the coffee. I did that because I knew that I was gonna be charging for a couple of hours. God, I'm in a bad mood. He knew the outlet didn't work when I asked if I could charge there. He got me the coffee, and then when I was upset, he's like, yeah, no, no refunds. Fucking hell. The bike is completely dead, so we gotta find something here. <laughs> oh, found an out does this outlet work? Uh, can I plug my, this plug, outlet? Uh, my friend David, David, uh, he often talks about how bad Austrian customer service is. I wasn't sure that I believed him until like right now. Yeah, so I just left that five fucking euro cappuccino back at the place. Mm. Look at that, we were able to get the ca cappuccino and the brownie here for 7 yeah. 7 I won't lie, I like saying, I like doing my work in places like this more than McDonald's. McDonald's is nicer, I get better food, but places like this are kind of cool. Okay, he says they're closing, so we're gonna get out of here. God, the batteries are hot. They've been working all day today. Like I said yesterday, I'm not even locking it up anymore. Regretfully, I'm still uploading the video. So even if he's closing, we still gotta like just stay here and wait for this to upload. You know, I will say this about McDonald's. It never spontaneously closes on you, leaving you outside to upload your videos on the side of the street. He shut down the Wi-Fi, so I'm having to use my cell data to upload this. But I do have pretzels. At the end of the day, that's what really matters. Okay, she is finally done uploading. We can hit the road.
Google Fi is probably going to shut off my cell data soon because I've been outside of the US for a while. So I might need to look at getting a SIM card soon. Okay, I found a place for us to sleep that's 44 miles away. We didn't finish charging the battery, so I'm not even sure if we'll be able to make it, but we're gonna try. In 300 feet, go straight onto the Strasse. I am hoping we can get there before dark. I've already paid for it, so we have to get there. Okay, so pause. I want to give you guys a peek behind the curtain for just a second. I just got a sponsorship offer um, from a company and I want to walk you guys through basically how this works. They sent me an email that's like, hey, so we are from a brand company. I'm working in Madrid. Here's what we want from you. We want one TikTok video plus one link in your bio. Uh, they've got some requirements. They want me to send like demographics, how much views I get. They're offering $700 for the TikTok plus $600 for exclusivity from other brands. The reason that I'm showing you guys these numbers is because I know a lot of TikTokers, they will completely undersell themselves. Like they will offer to post a TikTok for $50 thinking they got a good deal because all they had to do was post one TikTok, but brands will pay significantly more. I think that this deal is worth like $1,300, $1,400 for one TikTok. That's the kind of prices you should be looking for. I have just accepted. So I will be potentially doing a sponsorship for some different eSIM company um, and be paying paid. And I will get paid like $1,500 for it. Oh my God, we're crossing over the fucking river again. No. Why did I pay? Why couldn't we have just ridden on that side? I swear to God, I'm salty. I hate cobblestone. Follow this way for zero point three eight miles. So I think I fucked up and I picked one that's too far away. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be dark before we get there and my battery might not even make it. This might have been a bad decision. Yeah, like why did I pay money to have a boat take me to the other side of the river if I'm just gonna end up back on this side? The sun has officially set and bugs keep flying at my face. We are officially in Germany. We crossed into Germany in that town where we are riding on the cobblestone. Dude, what a pretty city. You guys wanted to see what night riding looks like? I think you're gonna get it. God, there's so many bugs and they're hitting me in the face. Okay, you know what? Fuck this, fuck this. Ah, go away, bugs. God damn it. Nobody likes you. Hello. I'm so fucking sick of these bugs getting in my eyes. I'm gonna ride with this shit. Because fuck you bugs. I can hardly see anything, but still, fuck you bugs. No, I was sitting here thinking that I need like goggles or something to keep them from flying in and getting at my eyes and my ears and my nose. I already have what I need. Fucking great. I wanna give a huge shout out to Alberto. Alberto was one of the guys working in uh, Ukraine as a volunteer. He's the one that recommended I get this net. This has been such a good investment. Thank you, Alberto. Okay, I think I'm gonna try switching to my phone as the sun goes down because the GoPros are really bad in low light. Um, this has a different field of view. I think this is shooting in 60 frames per second. I'm not sure if that's something I wanna change or if we can just leave it at 60 frames per second. It is a tad difficult because I need to keep taking my phone in and out of my phone holder and I need to like get the camera app open, but it's probably worth it for the footage. In 450 feet, turn left onto Klosterstrasse. Damn, I wanted to see if there was anything I could get for food, but I guess not. Now turn right onto Donnelland. Okay, I set the video settings to the same that my GoPro uses, so I'm shooting at 24 frames per second rather than 60. This should give it better low light performance. Follow this way for 0.4 miles. Shooting in high frame rates uh, makes it to where each individual frame is able to get less light. So this should be better.
I know it seems super dorky, but this is really helpful. This is really helpful. Okay, we're back on the GoPro just so I can explain something. You guys probably think that using my phone is a perfectly viable solution. Why don't I do that more often? Because I also use my phone for navigation. Every time that I need to like switch to my camera to film something, I need to stop the bike, take the phone out of the holder, film the thing and then put it back. It ends up taking way too long. I just want you guys to know that behind the scenes, using my phone to film is it's not fun. I notice if I use the zoomed out lens, the low light isn't as good as if I use this lens. This lens does better at In 650 feet, go straight onto street. So I think it'll give up on the super wide shots and just give you shots like this. I can't use the phone right now, so you just get GoPro footage. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get good low light performance. I think that that's just not happening, so we're sticking with the GoPro. Okay, we're entering the town where our booking is. Okay, I think I can take this thing off. God, so useful. So glad I got this. Okay, and then we should be over here somewhere. Okay, yes, this is the place. I think, why are, okay, you guys can't see this, just a sec, there's no windows. Oh God, it feels like I'm in a horror movie. What did I pay fucking 60 euros for? Holy shit. What the fuck is this place? Okay, maybe that's just parking. And the actual place is over here. You're the manager? Oh yes, it's uh, my house. <laughs> yes, um, I have a you booking. You booked a room. Yes, yes, I booked yes. a room. In the, in the other place with the abandoned building. I uh, walked in there thinking that that's where I booked. Uh, I'm like, you where? Do... You can park everywhere. It's only oh. for cars. Okay, perfect. But, I'll bring the bike over. You can, you can leave it there. Oh, fantastic. Oh, wonderful. This place is great. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay. I got the batteries. We can charge the bike. He says that nothing is open in the village, so we won't be able to get food. But he did give me this flyer for a pizza delivery. Um, it's in German. I'm pretty sure the pizza, the people that would be delivering the pizza are also speaking German. So trying to order pizza will be fun, but I will give it a shot. No, the same guy that owns this place, he also owns the thing over there. He sent a picture of that building and said that we could park there. So I assume that that was the place that we were staying. Oh, I was about to be mortified. That was like straight out of a horror movie. We're gonna try to use Google Translate to read the menu. It is past 10, so they're not delivering. Looking at this though, we made it 116 miles today. Another record. Absolutely fantastic. We have 547 miles left before we get to Brussels, Belgium.